Hey team, we are doing our summer 20 where we are focusing on 20 minute workouts to fit your busy schedule. Today we have an arms and core workout ready to rock and roll for you, 20 minutes. Get a set of dumbbells or two. I have 10s and 15s. We're gonna pop right into our warm up, and I'll tell you a little bit more about our workout. All right, we're gonna just start off with some hip hinges. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to hinge at your hips, drop your hands. When you come up, give a big deep breath. Here we go. Hip hinge and big deep breath. Let's open up that upper body, those shoulders. Start taking in some. Big deep breaths. Very excited about this one. I love a good arms and core workout. I'm sure you do too. One more hip hinge. And good. All right, I want you to walk your hands down in front of you and walk your feet back. We are going to go into a side plank and then rotate to the other side. When you come back to the middle, we're gonna walk our feet back and then we'll go back out one more time. Walk it out, hold, and rotate. Here we go. I said one more time, but we're gonna do it one more time. <laughs> All right, I am loving these quick, effective, safe workouts. I hope you're finding them fun as well as you fit them into your busy schedule. I hope you have some fun plans for you and your family this summer. All right, once you go down into a squat position, you're gonna squat as low as it's comfortable, hands down in front of you or on the ground, and then I want you to rotate open one side, big deep breath, going to the other side, and rotate, good. Come out of that squat, we'll do that two more times. Squat, rotate, good. Yes, summer to me is such a fun, light, uh, exciting time in life. But like we've been talking about, we wanna make sure that we stay prioritizing our strength training so we can continue to stay functionally fit for life. Let's jump into this summer 20 arms and core workout. Uh, what we have to do are 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, we'll do each exercise two times through, and then when we get to all through all of them, there'll be six. We'll go one more time at the top, okay? So we've got Arnold presses here. You'll press up and then close the window. Press up, close the window. Ready? All right, 30 seconds. I'm using 10s. Grab what works for you and let's get going. All right, so Arnold press up, close the window, and go here. So like I said, we'll do each exercise back to back with just a 10 second break. So two times through, and then we'll move on to another exercise. We have six exercises to work through. Three, two, and come on down. All right, you can set them down if you need to, give a little bit of a shake, and then we'll go one more time. All right, press here, keep those elbows up nice and strong. Good, we're working the front and middle, as well as the rear delt as you bring it back. Breathing out as you press. Good, 15 seconds. Nice job. After this, we'll drop to the ground, get ready for some saw planks. Five seconds, three, two, good. 10 second transition, drop to the ground. We are doing saw planks. So, plank position, and then you rotate onto the tops of your toes, and back. Good, if at any point you just need to choose the option of coming on your knees and just focusing on uh, tightening your core, that is an option too, okay? 15 seconds, good, I know those shoulders are definitely talking to you from those Arnold presses. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of transition or rest time. Okay, so really important to make sure you're breathing throughout each move, rest. All right, we'll do that one more time and then we'll be back on our feet with bicep curls, just so you can stay ahead. Ready, let's go, soft plank. I told you it was arms and core today. 
breathe through each move. No need to rush. Rather you have good moves, good form. Just tighten through the core, protecting your low back. Good. 10 seconds. Amazing. Good. Three, two, and rest. Okay. Back to our feet. I'm gonna grab my 15s. We have got bicep curls, okay? We're gonna do half bicep curls. So only take them to the middle, and then we're halfway through the workout, or sorry, through this rep, then we will go the whole way, okay? Five more seconds, just halfway up, and then we'll go the other half. All right, now from the middle to up. Good, 10 seconds. Great job. Three, two, and rest. Okay, for the second round, we'll do the full range of motion, all right? Get ready, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Really connect into that move. From bicep curls, we will transition down, back to the ground for a chest press. 15 seconds. Last 10. Hang in there. Be thinking what move can you do or what weight can you do with a chest press. I'm gonna keep my 15s. Two, one, good. All right, come down to the ground. We're going to be on our back. We're gonna be in a bridge position. So you're gonna bridge up as you press. Ready? Let's go. Bridge as you press. This is absolutely a chest move, but our supporting muscles, our triceps. Oh, it's gonna feel so good. Press up and squeeze those glutes as you bridge. Good. More than halfway there. Getting that core and low back involved. Awesome work. Last five. Amazing. Two, and rest. All right, we'll do that one more time and then we will actually be staying on the ground for the following move, okay? Two, one, let's rock. Bridge and press. Did you choose the right weight? It should be challenging by the end of that 30 seconds. Push through those heels. Awesome job. Good work. Last 10 seconds. You're doing it. Great job. Four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. All right, we are going to be doing penguins. All right, so what that is, is you do a little bit of a crunch and then you are tapping each heel, okay? We're starting, go ahead and get in that position. If you need to support your, your neck, that's fine too, but it's just a little tap, but like a little penguin. There we go, great job. Good, last 10 seconds. Now we're gonna have an active rest, quote unquote, for these next 10 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, come up into a boat pose. We're gonna hold this for the 10, and then we'll go back into our penguins, all right? You're just holding. Core is locked in, feet are up, and release. Go back into the penguins. There we go. Nice job. Good, you can support your neck if you need to. Tap, tap, 15 seconds. Great job. 10 seconds. Ooh, baby. Next move, we'll be back on our feet. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. All right, next move, I'm gonna grab my tens. We're doing a row, we'll reverse fly. So it's row, when you come down, reverse fly. Join me here, row and fly. Again, not much rest break. We're getting the most of our 20 minutes together for our summer 20. Staying fit and strong, no matter what life is throwing at us, no matter how crazy our schedules get, we gotta keep our health a priority. 
so we can be strong during those tough times. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and rest. We're all one, right? We're holistic beings, all right? They're not silos, we're all together. Let's go. So we're staying strong, getting strong in a controlled environment. So when we are put in situations in life, we're mentally stronger for it, physically stronger for it. We're training for longevity. Not just an event, not just for a one-time goal. Five seconds, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, grab a sip of water, okay? Here's the deal. We're going back through all of those movements, okay? So second round through, we'll go with the Arnold presses, okay? So one more sip of water, and we'll rock out to the top with the Arnold presses. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, let's go. Arnold press, I know, to the top, making, going through this next round. We'll get us to that 20 minute session, right? Good. You can always evaluate your weight as you go through the second round. Are you challenging yourself enough? Should you go up and wait? Do you need to adjust down? Two, one, rest one more time and then you won't see another Arnold press for this workout, okay? Three, two, let's rock, press, close the window. Good. Shoulders, elbows stay up. Good job team, you're doing it. I know it's tough. We're tearing down these muscles to build stronger with recovery, rest, hydration. Push through the top. Three, two, and rest. Okay, on the ground, we've got soft planks. All right, so get ready. Three, two, let's rock it out. It truly is a rocking plank, essentially. Going back and forth, meet yourself where you're at. You need to come to your knees, that's fine. Four is strong. Nice job, halfway there. Good work. Almost there. Good. Three, two, and come on down. Quick 10 second break. Woo, arms and core, baby. That's what we're doing. You're owning this. Let's go. Second time around, and then you'll be done with soft legs, okay? Hang with me. Breathing out as you come onto your toes. Halfway there. Nice job, team. 10 seconds, you got this. Focus on your breath, mind muscle connection, and down. All right, we're back to our feet. Get your weight for the bicep curls. Nice, slow onto your feet. Ready? All right. It's a quick transition, but make sure that you're standing up with care. I know that from the ground to up can take a little bit longer, so. That's okay, just do what you can to safely get up. Good, we're just going halfway up. Now we're gonna go the full length. Sorry, not the full length. <laughs> From the middle to the top, okay? And then the next round, we'll do the full range of motion. Three, two, and one. I feel like I got some funny faces coming out here today. Woo, baby. Let's go. Three, two, full range of motion. Let's rock. Yes, we can. We are owning this. We are scheduling, prioritizing our fitness. Be proud of yourself today. Way to make it happen. Good, 15 seconds. Last 10. 
All right, after this, remember, we're going back to the floor for bridge chest presses. Two, one. All right, come on down. It's a little bit easier going from up to down, right? All right, let's go in two, one. Bridge to press, and let's rock. Thirteen. Let's go. More than halfway there. Ten seconds. Be intentional about that bridge. Pushing through the heels. Using the glutes. Five. Two. And quick rest. Nice job. All right. We'll do one more round through that. And then we'll get ready for those penguins. Let's go. Bridge and press. Good, intentionally connecting with our pelvic floor as we press into that bridge. Control the breathing. Good job. 10 seconds. You are owning this. Good work, good work. Three, two, and amazing. All right. We've got penguins, okay? Oh, I know you're loving them. Two, one, let's go. Tapping each side of your foot. Ooh, little penguin right here. Nice work. 15 seconds. Arms in four. We'll make it happen. This is where the work happens. And you're doing it. Three, two, and rest. Oh, don't rest. Come into boat pose. What? I'm just get a few seconds here. I hope you already went to boat pose. That's how dedicated you are. <laughs> All right, back down into penguin. So glad I remembered our boat pose, aren't you? I know it's quick. Good. Last 20 seconds. We're working hard. We only have one more minute. One more exercise after this, so hang with me. 10 seconds. Good job. Last five. Three, two, and good. All right, final move. We've got the row to the reverse fly, okay? Come up nice and slow. Let's begin here, all right? It's okay if you lose a couple seconds, we'd rather you get up safely. Row. To five. Work. Making this happen. Final ten. Hang with me. Core is still nice and controlled. Two, one. One more round, y'all. All right and then we'll call it good. Give me what you got. Two, one, 30 seconds. Row to fly. Amazing. You're gonna feel so good after you've accomplished this one. I know it, you can always go single fly if you need to. Totally fair, I know we're at the end. And we're giving it what we got. Five seconds. And what you got, team? And rest. High five, virtual high five to you. Give yourself a high five too, right? The next time you see yourself in the mirror, give yourself a high five, I promise you. It does wonders. Let's hydrate, get us the water. We'll do a quick cool down for this summer 20 arms and core workout. Right, let's give our shoulders some love. We'll go ahead and go into a side lunge. Well done. I am so proud of you for making this arms and core workout happen as they come out. Remember the goal is to get up to three strength training sessions every week. 
and then we are looking to do eight to 10 to 12,000 steps a day, which is physical activity or going on a purposeful 20, 30 minute walk, however you wanna get there. Go ahead and stretch out to the side. We're getting strong for life and all the work that you've done up until this point at the top of the summer, remember, we wanna keep those gains. So if it means just focusing on quick, effective 20 minute workouts like this series, then let's make it happen. Make sure you're writing down when you're gonna work out because it is far more likely that it's gonna happen if you do so, okay? We're gonna hit the ground for one, one stretch. You know I love this one, but we work those shoulders. Kick out one leg and then we'll do a needle through for two big deep breaths right here. Come with me. Go ahead and come on out of that stretch. Let's go to the other side once again for two big deep breaths. Give yourself gratitude for having the ability to move and choosing to move. Good. All right, we're gonna finish going into a child pose. Two big deep breaths here. Even stretch the arms to one side, get a little bit of a stretch in through that, the shoulder and in through the lat. Good, go ahead and reach to the other side. Big deep breath. All right, come on out of that shoulder, that child's pose, come into a low squat. Let's open up those hips with just a little bit of a side squat here, Good. hands to the ground, and roll it on up nice and slow. Big deep breath to close it out. Another summer 20 in the books with our arms and core. Go tell a friend and have them join you next time. Have an amazing day, I'll see ya.